Hi everybody, this is Wanda. I have something up my sleeve. Fair warning, you'll find out about it later. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do, I did one a few weeks, a couple of weeks ago, and I did it as a background for an embellishment. I have not posted the video because I haven't embellished it yet because I'm a slow poke. I'm not gonna claim that, you know, life is in the way. It's not, it's me sitting on the couch too much watching too many painting videos of everybody else's. So, what I wanna do is what I did in that one and mess around with it a little bit and then hit it with the blow dryer. And you will be amazed when you see what happens if the same thing happens this time as happened last time. My colors are all mixed, one part paint, two parts Floetrol. I have in this box, in this cup, uh, meta Anita's Metallic Bronze, which is like a light copper. I just love that color. This is my Chroman, Chroma Molten Metals in Dorado Gold. And this is Anita's Metallics in Classic Gold. So I'm going to layer them mostly gold with a little bit of the bronze in between. This is a 14 ounce cup. Uh, for a, a 16 by 20, which is what this is, I need about 12 ounces. If I go over that, that's fine. If I get almost up to the top, that's fine. Um, so I hope that I have plenty of paint mixed. And I think I probably do. They're not mixed super thin. I didn't put any water in these. I want them to kind of hold their body. Um, not much of that. and kind of be rich colors, you know. Not too spread out, faded out, watered down, and all that kind of stuff, so. I love these colors, I love all these paints. And these paints run about $3.89 to $3.99, an eight ounce uh, bottle. I get the Chroma at Dick Blick, and if you order $35, you get free shipping and there's no tax. On these, I buy at Hobby Lobby. I try to get them with my 40% off coupon, and I do have to pay tax. So, where am I? Okay, I'm right here. I think I'm going to put the rest of that in there. But that's not bad for 8 ounces. And I absolutely love the Chromas. They get such rich colors. Um, I haven't used a lot of their silver lately, so I'm going to have to do a painting for you all with that color because I use the gold more. Um, the gold dries super shiny. I was getting down to the bottom of the bottle. I used what was left of my Chroma, I mean, my not my Chroma, the Anita's Bronze. So I just added Floetrol to the bottle and kind of eyeballed what I had left and it two to one. And then um, I have a little bit of that left if I should need it. Have that, some of that left have a little bit in here that is had Floetrol mixed in with it too. So, because when I get to the bottom of the bottle, I like to add my Floetrol, swish it around, try to get the rest of that paint out so I can use it and not lose it. I think I have plenty of paint. And I don't think I'm gonna do a flip cup. I think I'm gonna pour it just like right in the middle. <clears throat> I'm trying to decide what I wanna do.
This is fun. I don't think I've ever done one like this before. Too pretty. I may lose it on the puppy pad because I'd rather have too much than not enough. But um, might as well use it. Got it in the cup. For some reason, I got chilled, so I put on my long sleeve shirt. It's a little chilly down here in this basement. Those colors are so pretty. Look at that. See how shiny they are. Ooh, this may turn out so pretty I don't even do the plan that I had. <laughs> Get all that paint right back down in the middle. Move out of the way there, paper towel. I used to paint on this size canvas a lot doing brush paintings. It was like my favorite size, 16 by 20. It was big enough to hang on the wall, but out without having to spend a fortune on a canvas. And people seem to buy them pretty well. Oh no, I'm losing too much. Pretty stuff. Okay. Get my paint back down here now. Okay, let me see where I want to go. I like both these designs down here in these corners, so kind of hate to mess with them too much. Here, it's up here. I'm gonna let it run down in that corner some. Cover that end and that edge, and then I'm done. Have a bunch of hand paint on my hand. So I'm gonna pick it up and stick it on there. Hope y'all can see this. You may not be able to. Some of these days, I'm gonna rig up a way to bring my iPad down here and have something to put it on that I can use to film with. All right. I'm gonna bring that, this shift this back down this way. Cause I like those stripes in there.
And I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my plan. Cause I wanna show you all that, the effect that I get. And now that I know how gorgeous this is, I can do another one later. Remember that multiple ring pours. So beautiful. Let me check all my corners and edges and make sure I got paint on them. Okay, have dripped it over here. I've dripped it all over the floor, actually. So what I'm gonna do now, that I went and got me a new paper towel, is use my blow dryer. So the part you're gonna, I want you to really concentrate on watching is this one, because there's not a whole lot of variation in the paint, and I want you to see what happens when I hit it with this blow drawer. So I will mute the blow drawer so you don't have to hear it. This is beautiful, and believe it or not, when it dries, it, sh it will dry completely flat. If it dries like mine did before, you won't feel any texture. It'll look like texture, but it really won't feel like you have texture on it. And it is absolutely beautiful to me, just the way it is. But now it makes a great background too. So if you wanted, since it's gonna dry flat, if you wanted to put a transfer on that, then there's many videos on YouTube showing you how to do a transfer. And you could put a beautiful graphic transfer over the top of this that didn't take up the whole canvas and it would jump out at people. And one thing I want to do that I thought of while I was mixing my paint, I didn't think of it sooner, is I want to challenge my poor subscribers if you pour i want you if you can get this paint that i and i will show it to you again i want you to do this and remember you mix it one part paint two parts flow troll no water and then i want you to pick another metallic color to throw in with it you can layer it and pour it you can do a flip cup you can do a straight pour, whatever technique you want to do. So this is like a challenge, okay? And it's funny because these three pick colors were what I picked up, and all three of them ended up being Anita's. <laughs> so this is Anita's Amethyst. This is Anita's Metallic Turquoise. And, of course, this is that beautiful Metallic Rose. So can you imagine one of those thrown in there with it? So I wanna challenge you all to do that. You can do the pour without doing the texture, or you can do the texture, or you can do it 
without color or with color, but I just can't, I, I'm gonna do another one to see what it looks like with the color in it and layer that just like kind of like I did the bronze, not do a whole lot of color and then see how it blends with the blow dryer and what kind of design that I get. Okay, now once you've done that and your painting has dried, I want you to email me a picture of your painting. It doesn't matter what size it is. It doesn't matter what colors you use. I do want you to use the blow dryer in part of it. You don't even have to use, if it turns out beautiful without the blow dryer, don't touch it with the blow dryer if you don't want to. Or use it in one place but not another or however you want to do it. But then once you send me your pictures, I will give you, what is today? Today is July the 18th, until the end of the month to do a painting, get it dry, Send it to send me a picture of it, and then I will make a video and I will number the paintings and I will do a video and show just going from picture to picture to picture to picture to picture of your paintings that you all did and sent me pictures of. And I will number those paintings, and at the end of the video, I will draw out a number. And you will get a painting from me. And I may decide later how I want to do that. I might give you a choice of three paintings that I have. I might ask you what it is you prefer. Is there one in a video that I've done in the last couple of months that you really love? You can have your choice or whatever. But somebody will be a winner if you do this. And then you send me a picture of it and I put it in the video. So I just think this would be fun. I came up with the idea just for the moment whenever I was doing mixing my paint. And I will have all of this in the description box when I post this video. And before I end this video, I want to remember someone who has, so, has generously supported my channel this month. And her name is Kim McGlamory Owens. And she sent me a contribution so that I could buy supplies. And I just want, I've already sent her an email telling her how much I appreciate it. It just, it keeps me enthused. It, it, whenever I have somebody send me a, a contribution, and it trust me, it wouldn't matter how small or how big. It, it just, I appreciate it so very, very much. And I want you to know that it means so much to me because it keeps me enthusiastic. And it makes me want to come up with more experiments or more, you know, come up with some new idea or whatever. So I think I'm going to have to come up with a cute name for this way of doing this. Because basically what it does, it not only pushes the color around, it pushes the mica that's in the paints. So whatever mica that they use to make these colors is what is being blown around and changed. And actually the first one that I did, it was mostly in the area that had the Chroma and the classic Anitas, the classic gold Anitas that it really showed up in. And that's why I wanted you all to kind of concentrate on this area here where there wasn't a whole lot of other color, but of course it spread when I did it. But you can still see up in here and over in here where there wasn't a lot of that bronze showing, you can still see the texture. So I'm gonna take the camera down. I know this is a long video. I'm gonna take the camera down and give you all a close up and don't forget to read the description box because I'm gonna have all the details in there about this challenge that I'm kind of issuing to you all. And I hope that I get a lot of contributors. So if you pour, or even if you know somebody that pours, share this video to them and have them to subscribe and they can you know get in there and send me a picture and I'll do the video in a like in two and a half weeks or two weeks at the end of the month beginning of the month of August where I show picture after picture after picture and it'll just be a slideshow of showing the paintings that got sent in and um, I just thought it would be a fun thing to do, and I appreciate you all watching so much, and please share and subscribe. I noticed the other day that I've had over 5,000 people to view my paintings, my painting videos, and not everybody is subscribed. 
And so it's exciting to me. I can't believe that. I mean, holy cow. But my next goal is 5,000 people. So I will be having a giveaway, an appreciation giveaway, probably a couple of weeks because I'm up to 1,260 or so subscribers now. And at 1,500, I'm going to have another appreciation giveaway. So hang on a second. Let me get the camera down and show you this up close. So I'm going to start this up high. I know that's kind of what you all saw, but this is the end that was down close to you. And I'm just, I just was blown away when I saw the first time this happened, how all this paint moved and how the mica actually just blew around and made texture. So this is the bottom corner that started out very blase and that bronze did end up moving through it and swirling around. And then right in here was kind of blah, but you can tell that there are different colors and a lot of texture down in there. So even though it was a beautiful pour, I'm still glad that I did this. And it comes up through there. And now I'm gonna go over to this edge and trying crazy like to not let the ceiling light reflect off of this, but give you all a good look at it. So there's some of that bronze moving around. And then you can see down in there where it's kind of the two different golds that move and blend and show texture. It's just gorgeous. I just absolutely love this. So tell me what you all think and let me know if you're interested in doing a pour and sending me a picture because I think that'll be so much fun. I just really think this will be fun. So thank you again for watching. Read all my information in my description box like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it so very much. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Hi, everybody. I wanted to show you how this dried. It's almost completely flat. It is so beautiful. Look at the shine. It is just unreal. I mean, it's just really stunning by itself without any kind of enhancement over the top of it. Um, the chroma gold dries brighter. That's what you're seeing in the shimmer here. That's the chroma up against that Anita's. The Anita's dries a little duller. So when you mix the two together, you get this. And it is just wonderful. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but let me back that up a little bit. It's flat. It looks textured but it's like completely flat. Um, I had one little spot, I think, where the paint was just a little thicker, just a little blobby, thicker place, but other than that, it just came out wonderful. And that bronze just really pops, but it still doesn't seem as bright to me in person as it is in the camera, but this is, I just love these. I love these, I want you all to try these and do one for me and send me a picture. Thank you.